This is going to be yet another look at some James Houston IV film. I will readily admit up front that I'm a huge James Houston IV fan and have been since uh, last, since that unbelievable run that he had last season. I think it was historic. I think he has a, a unbelievable fastball in terms of his speed rush. It seems to me that the Lions are trying to get him a lot of reps in the preseason to, to try to round out parts of his game. Personally, I think parts the other parts of his game are very good, and I'm going to try to show you at least two other elements in this video. It's probably like the sixth video I've done on James Houston IV. If you, if you look at YouTube shorts, uh, film study videos last year, this is now the second look uh, specifically at him in the preseason. What we'll do is we'll look at uh, some of his sacks, pressures, uh, uh, pass rushes. Then we'll look at him playing um, in a sick, uh, missed opportunity that he had on the first play of the game, I believe, first possession of the game. We'll look at him in a six technique, playing against tight ends, head up, so not really responsible for pass rushing. And then finally, we'll look at his coverage stuff, and I'll show you a little bit from this this week's game against the Panthers and last week against the Jags. So this is him beating Iquanu, the um, 2022 highly rated pick for for the Panthers. Split sack between him and Romeo Okwara. Um, later on in the game, just totally overwhelming the, the right tackle for for upfield rush and then turn it inside. That's, why did I show you that one before this one, which was earlier in the game? Because this is when he establishes the upfield rush. Clearly, that's not the angle that you want to be at, but it in terms of the entire play, you want you want to be able to adapt in the middle of the play like the one that I just showed you, which will be basically like that third line I just drew. Kind of a simplistic look and a way of looking at it, but if you establish the fastball early, you... I think can use your slider, your curveball, and your change up later. For James Houston, the fourth, his fastball is his edge rush. His fastball is getting upfield and beating people um, off the edge. He had, I think, three tackles. One and a, this actually was a sack, even though the cameraman on the All 22 messed up. Uh, one and a half sacks, three quarterback hits. Really could have had two and a half sacks. I'll show you the missed opportunity in a moment. One of the things that I, I've noticed about James Houston, the fourth, in the last year plus, his ability to redirect despite contact. I think he's got a great motor. I think he's got great instincts. Are there times where maybe the Lions coaching staff wants him to do something different? Possibly. But his ability to redirect in the middle of the play, I think, is exceptional, even on a field with, you know, 21 other great athletes. I love how he redirects in the middle of this play. Him and Iquanu have hands on each other. He's able to disengage. Iquanu tries to reset. And he just beats him around the edge. That's just an athletic mismatch in terms of the speed. Again, it's a split sack between him and Okwara. There was another play in this game where he was a, a half second later than the one I just showed you and pulled up and didn't hit Bryce Young but from behind. But it was foreboding pressure in terms of him being on the blind side of Bryce Young. This is the one, like I said, where he beats the right tackle later in the game. I believe this is like six and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. I just finished watching the whole defensive game for for the Lions and and I noticed I thought three times where he wasn't on the field on first and second down in a third and fourth quarter and then they brought him on on third and long. I think that might be his more consistent use in a regular season because they have so many edge players there in Detroit that are that are capable. But I'm going to show you here in a moment. I think he's he's a more well-rounded player. He's a more versatile player than people give him credit for, particularly in coverage if you ask me. All right, now that I've shown you some of his pass rushes from week three against the Panthers, this is a early in the game, clear missed opportunity. He's going to end up going – it's a run threat to the opposite side, and then the quarterback is going to boot off of it. It's a classic play that will never go away. He ends up going down the line and then kind of coming straight at the quarterback where you'd want to be a little bit more of an angle so that you could redirect better – depending on which direction the quarterback goes in. I maybe shouldn't have drawn the lines first. Should have let you see the play first. But you can see him from here. He's going to go straight up field, and Bryce Young beats him on the inside. We would like that angle to be more at like a 30 instead of a zero-degree angle, or 180, I guess, if you want to call it. Unblocked, looking to see if Hurst is going to come and kick him out on a run concept. So that's good. He's not looking here. He's looking at the block. Okay, the ball's not given. Now let me burst up field. I actually believe James Houston IV can make this tackle against Bryce Young, who's very elusive. Oh, by the way, he does he does recover 
and get involved in a play and get a uh, half a half a tackle with Jack Campbell, who's seemingly involved in every single play. As an aside, the Lions are doing this a lot in the preseason, taking a safety or in some cases a linebacker and walking them up in a tight end's face, kind of like a modified bear technique in terms of what you're asking someone to do. Play man-to-man on a tight end from just off the line of scrimmage. Bears would do it in, you know, Rex Ryan's uh, famous defense. They'd have the um, the Sam and the Will linebacker both on the same side, basically in this alignment here. Depending on the block, if the tight end stepped out to the outside guy, then the inside guy could rush. If the tight end released inside, then the outside guy could rush. Just absolved someone of pass responsibility. But look at how the Panthers take advantage of it. Not that they knew it was coming. Where does Bryce Young escape to? Well, he escapes to the area that the tight end just vacated in terms of the guy, the safety was playing man-to-man. This is the second or third time that I've seen this where they're in this look and that space ends up being vacated because they're playing so much man on the tight end. I don't pretend to know how much man they played like that last year in that specific alignment, but this year I've seen it come back to haunt them a couple times. All right, a couple of examples of a six technique. I'm intentionally not giving you the end zone angle uh, just so you know, but um, six technique, like head up on a tight end, maybe a seven, which is inside shade. Doesn't get hands on a tight end there because you get an outside release, but he is able to try to get pressure. And what it does is it kind of clears up the read for the uh, the safety who's sitting right over the top. So I'm talking about this safety here who would theoretically be playing man on a tight end, which I, I think in most cases will be, but they kind of zone this off. Um kind of clears up the read for that safety in terms of does he get a run block read on James Houston the fourth? Does he get a, a outside release? Generally, you know, considered a, a pass release. There's very few teams that do arc releases in the NFL. Uh, or are you getting a down scheme? Is he going down to block the three technique and, and maybe the front side guard is pulling or something like that? So that gives the safety kind of a clear read. James Houston the fourth is not as bad at this as some people would think. Now, he didn't touch the tight end there, but let's check out the next rep. This is Hayden Hurst. Okay, it's a bunch. So this is Hayden Hurst. He's as big and strong and physical as any tight end in the league. Uh, James Houston's getting into him. Right now, I'm a James Houston IV fan. You watch this you know, on your own. Now, I think James Houston IV is super aware. So in the middle of this play, somehow, I think he understands that you could have a boot threat out here to the outside. That's the only explanation for why I have as to why he's fighting the pressure of number 12 12 is, is caving down from the outside and why James Houston IV is fighting that pressure and getting back out there to the outside. But look at the push that he gets on Hayden Hurst. He's winning off that initial engagement. There's a lot of people, and I've seen some in comment section, though he can't play against the run. His job here is to hold the outside and win that matchup. And then, look, you've got other people that are filling inside here, unblocked, a lot of schemes like this in the NFL, college football, whatever, where they're trying to cave in the outside. I think James Houston IV is better against the run than people give him credit for, but let's move on. Against the pass, one rep from this game against the Panthers and then one rep from the week before against the Jags. This is two read or palms that they're playing here. And James Houston IV is basically doing what the inside linebacker would do in two read or palms, whatever system you know the, the Lions use. They're looking for two to run out and one to run a vertical. So what James Houston IV has to do is he has to wall two. So he has to wall number two. Now two's running out here. What if two runs out and one runs a slant? Then he's got to be on the inside leverage of one. So he's reading it once he gets a pass read. He's staying on the inside leverage of two. Eyes on two. That's why his eyes are not on the quarterback because he's reading two, just like the safety and the corner are. The safety is playing deep over the top to allow the corner to release one vertically. Looking for the out, look at the relationship that they've got on two. James Houston IV is now looking for this out or the underneath route here. He's a much more refined pass coverage guy than people give him, than people are aware. Particularly on the right side. And I'll show you one more rep from last week. If you don't believe me, this is not to read, if you ask me. But you can see you got two two receivers here, twins. Definitely have a, a high safety who could roll to the, the deep halves part of the field there. James Houston Fourth sees the play action look. I'm not sure. To me, he can't be looking at the tackle here. I'm sure his coaches had to talk to him this week about 
you know, hey, man, if you're reading the tackle for run pass, you should not be coming forward right now. You should be in your pass read, which, again, this is the reason why I'm showing you this play. We're going to go back to the first play. Now, he makes a great play on that one, all right? He, he's able to change directions. We'll show it one more time, and then we'll go back to this play from last week. He, he comes downhill. This is a – I talked about this in the video last week. Change of direction read – or change of direction drill for inside linebackers, outside linebackers. Put your foot in the ground, get back to your pass drop. Oop, got to redirect again. Run pass draw drill. Come downhill, make the tackle. Or recover the fumble or whatever the situation is. Getting back to that read on the tackle. Look where his eyes are. Okay, he could be looking at the tackle. If you believe Coach DC, he could be looking in the backfield. Look at the pass set. What's he doing compared to last week? Last now, there's no there's no run threat here, but he's already gone in terms of a mesh. There's no mesh happening there with the quarterback and the running back, but he's already gone. He's already putting his foot in the ground. Boom, getting out in his pass drop. Next thing, get my eyes on two. Stay on the inside of two. Read his release. Boom, two makes that out cut. Now let me look to either jump it if he throws the out, or let me come downhill if he throws it late to somebody underneath. He's improved from week to week here. And he's got the agility and the tackling ability to make these plays out in space. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'll be up front. I'm a huge James Houston IV fan. I think he's got incredible ability. I think he can impact any team in the NFL uh, greatly because of his ability to rush the passer, his ability to tackle people out in space, which he showed last year multiple times. He's showing you here against Tank Bigsby again. Uh, super talented running back, rookie from the SEC. Plays for the Jags. Guys, let me know what you think of the film study video. If you think James Houston IV uh, played as well against the Panthers as I did, missed opportunity, obviously, on the uh, early first quarter tackle of Bryce Young where he could have had a sack in the backfield. I think the Lions coaching staff is putting him out on field to let him practice multiple techniques. I don't think he's actually a guy that could not make the roster, but I understand there's people who have a, a, a opposite opinion from that. So appreciate you guys' time. If you listen, listen this long and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you think other Lions fans would enjoy this film study video, look at James Houston IV, then please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it on social media. Help this content get more reach.